If you have a prolapsed uterus, what kinds of problems might come up? I'm the Kegel Queen. I'm a registered nurse and my name is Alice Adams. And in this video, we'll talk all about the problems that might happen when you have a prolapsed uterus. The primary concern women have is that it's going to get worse and worse. That if it's a little bit now, it's just going to get worse and worse. That can happen but not necessarily. It may be no worse than you're experiencing right now, especially if you find out how to take care of your prolapse to stabilize it. So that means, number one, avoiding risks that can make your prolapse worse, and also doing Kegel exercises correctly. Correctly being the key word there because almost nobody is doing Kegels correctly. So uh, with uterine prolapse, surgery is often recommended, typically a hysterectomy. And the main thing I want you to take away from this video is prolapse is never an emergency. There's no rush and rushing into surgery is probably the most dangerous thing you can do. So you have time to find other ways to work with your prolapse down the road if absolutely everything else doesn't work and it's driving you absolutely crazy, maybe surgery at that point as a last resort, especially uh, if it comes to that, a surgery that keeps your uterus in place instead of a hysterectomy. Those are all topics for other videos. Right now we're talking about problems you can have when you have a prolapsed uterus. So basically the same problems you're probably having now. It feels bad. You can have pain and discomfort with it. That aching and a dragging sensation, feeling of fullness in the vagina. Then there's emotional pain, which can be really extreme with any kind of vaginal prolapse. It's it just, it hurts women at the core of our identity. There's something about having something wrong with your vagina that just makes our whole body feel wrong. So if you're experiencing emotional pain about your prolapsed uterus, you are not alone. You are absolutely not alone. It's absolutely normal when women have that to feel extremely, extremely disturbed by it. Some of the other physical things that can happen with prolapsed uterus, problems with elimination. So sometimes you might have trouble moving your bowels, trouble with urination, either leaking or um, urgency or um, trouble emptying your bladder. And you might be having problems with sex, especially if you or your partner are afraid about it. It really and truly is okay to have sex when you have a prolapsed uterus. And in fact, I always remember one woman uh, who was a Kegel Queen member early on said if she had sex, her prolapse would be in place for about four hours afterwards. So the joke was she should just have sex every four hours and it would be fine. Um, a little bit impractical for most women, I know, but sex is really and truly okay. There are a few precautions to follow, but it's really not anything to be afraid of. So if you're going to have problems with uterine prolapse, you're probably already experiencing them. Don't lie awake at night worrying that your prolapse is going to get worse. Find out how to stabilize and even reverse your prolapse. And there are safe, simple ways to care for prolapse without surgery. To find out more, please visit me at kegelqueen.com. I'm the Kegel Queen, and I'm here to help.